grade 5, welcome back to our science class. We are still in quarter 1, week 6 to 8 with our Pivot 4A module. Designing a product out of local recyclable, solid and or liquid materials and making useful products. This is Mom Grace, your science teacher. Congratulations! You have already accomplished understanding the concepts and acquiring skills in determining the uses of properties that tell whether materials are useful or harmful. You have also investigated the materials under the effects of the two conditions where there is presence or absence of oxygen and the application of heat on materials. I hope you enjoyed learning all these activities while staying at home for your good health and safety. Are you ready to the next journey as a scientist? I hope so. Let's go! You can do better in the learning task designed for you in this lesson. You can still go back to the properties of the different materials around you or those that can be found at home and in your local community. This will help you to recognize the importance of recycle, reduce, reuse, recover, and repair in waste management. These skills will enable you to design products out of local, recyclable, solid, and or liquid materials in making useful products. Let us start by looking at the pictures of waste materials found in the kitchen and at home. Examine its picture. Can you recognize the process or way by which you can help to save the environment at home and in the community through waste management? Do you have empty bottles of vinegar, fish sauce, or soy sauce in your kitchen? If you say yes, can you reuse them? Waste management is the process by which materials that have been used, broken, disposed, and are no longer in good conditions are managed in a way that they can be reused, reduced, recycled, recovered, and repaired. Like the one in the picture. These five R's in waste management are very important, specifically in this time of pandemic, that our way of living has been adversely affected by community quarantine at different levels. If you will reduce, reuse, recycle, recover, and repair materials that have been considered as waste, you can contribute a lot in your environment. Let us take a look with these pictures. What will you do to show your concern for these materials found at home? Are you going to cut papers that are not yet used? Or what are you going to do with the, with the chair that is broken? Or with that glass that is broken? Are you going to throw it once it was broken? Especially the chair? Or are you going to repair it? Okay, so that's it. Another way to manage waste in the environment is to reduce the use of plastics. Plastics are non-biodegradable. You learned in the previous lesson that plastics can live for hundreds of years. 
Thus, you need to reduce the use of plastics. Just look at this video. It is better to bring your eco bag for storage and keeping off grocery items. Another way to reduce plastics is to have own tumbler that can be used to limit use of plastic bottle for drinking. Say no to plastic bags and plastic bottles. Bring your own tumbler if you're going to school. Plastics are also good materials to recycle. Recycle is reusing the same material to make a new product. Plastic bottles can be recycled as flower vase or pencil holder. Just what the picture shows. Do you have computer or any gadget at home? If yes, there are times that these gadgets or appliances at home are damaged or lost some of its parts. So what will you do? Of course, it is not practical to dispose these materials because they can still be recovered by looking for replacement material that are available in the market, hardware or in other stores. If your dress or clothes lost some buttons or have been damaged by wear and tear of materials, you can seek the help of your mother to repair these materials. The pictures below can give you an idea to create your own product out of these local materials or use items found at home. For example, paper bags, soft drink bottles, and old books or old cardboards. Reusing items at home instead of buying new ones can help to reduce waste. In the kitchen, it is better to replace all the single-use eating utensils like styrofoam cups, water bottles, and paper plates with compostable or reusable alternatives. The one in the pictures or picture is styrofoam. You can also bring your own bag in grocery stores. In storing foods, durable plastic containers are very practical. You can use your Tupperwares or any brand of plastics. Instead of using disposable batteries running up in your appliances or gadgets, you may use rechargeable batteries. It is recommended to use rechargeable batteries like this. Repair is to fix something that is broken, damaged, split, or not working properly. Example of repairs that you can do at home are the sewing, cat, or holes in the packet of your pants. You can seek help from elders to repair some leak in the faucets, electrical appliances, and cracks in the walls of your house. To reuse some waste in the kitchen, you can collect some materials that can be prepared as organic fertilizers in your garden. This is called composting. Composting is one way to reuse organic material that may otherwise end up in a landfill. 
In the next pages of this lesson, you will be doing activities that will help you design useful products that come from these local materials found at home. In designing useful products, there are some steps and tips that you may follow to come up with rewarding results of your genuine effort and skills making new products out of local and used materials, like the one in the pictures. These are the steps and tips when designing a new product out of local and used materials at home. Number one, you have to determine the available local materials that are largely available at home or in your nearby places and community. Number two, study the properties of these local materials or use broken, damaged, or repairable materials. Number three, Create new products that are useful out of these materials by adding some aesthetic sense on them by watching videos, TV, or looking for some references that may guide you in creating a new material. Number four, as much as possible, seek help from elders to enjoy doing your activities in reducing, reusing, recycling, recover, and repair of materials to design local products that are useful out of or out from these waste materials, like the one in the pictures. The handbag is made out of a recyclable materials and the, the chairs are made of used tires. So we are now with our learning task. Please refer to your pivot for a modules. Thank you. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned something. Please like and share and subscribe for more video lessons. This is Mom Chris saying see you next time goodbye god bless